So this is an overview of the entire CNC Etch-a-Sketch setup. So we have the computer over here, which reads the G-code file and translates it into step and direction signals, which it sends through the parallel port into our driver board over here. And then the driver board activates coils in the stepper motors which turns the knobs of the Etch-a-Sketch and lets you draw stuff. So first we need to find our center of the Etch-a-Sketch and we can do that with this program. Uh, this is the jog menu and lets you control the movement of the cursor on the Etch-a-Sketch with keys on the keyboard. So I don't know how well you can see this but I'm going to try and move it around and position our dot right in the center. Alright, so that looks about right. Uh, so now we'll call this our zero. And now the design that we're making based on the G-code file is going to be in reference to this point. So I'm going to shake out the Etch-a-Sketch so we start with a nice clean canvas and then we'll start with the uh, with the picture. Alright, so the Etch-a-Sketch is nice and clear and we're going to go ahead with our G-code file. So we'll just run it. So as you should be able to see, it says FSS Electronics. Glare is pretty bad, but I think you can make out the letters. And that's about it. We can load up different files and draw different designs, but this pretty much proves the concept. And the next step is to move on to the real CNC machine that will make circuit boards for us.